Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I'm coming to do another book review of The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I might mess that up later on, but I got this as an audiobook. In this story you have a murderous king who kills a, uh, his bride. He has a new bride every day and or every night and every morning she's killed by the wrapping of a silk cord around her neck she's basically strangled to death uh, every day and it happens every day so every day there's a different bride who gets killed and then the next day they bring somebody else and so the story picks up with Charizard coming into being one of the brides and as an attempt to stay her execution slash murder, she beguiles Khalid by telling him stories the first night and Don comes and he does not kill her and so he she does this every night in an attempt to build some kind of relationship with him to spare her life and exact her revenge because her best friend was killed in this tradition or ceremony or whatever you want to call it that he has of killing his brides every morning. As the story progresses, they fall in love. There's a love triangle. And then, can I kill you even though I love you? Or can I love you in spite of what you've done and how much I hate you? that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> this is the first book in what is going to be a series. I don't know how many books are going to be in the series and I will start this by saying I will read the second novel but I will not read it as an audiobook. I did not enjoy the narrator for the audiobook. I thought that some of her inflections were off uh, and her phrasing was weird like she would pause in the middle of sentences and so there were things that were one thought or one course of action in a sentence or in a paragraph that was disjointed because of how she was reading it which was very weird and so as I'm listening to it I have to edit what she's saying to make what she's broken up into the phrase that it's supposed to be. There were some mispronounced words like she said wizened, the word is wizened. For the text that for the context that it was used it was used in i don't know that wizened is a word if it is let me know in the comments below but yeah she said wizened and i knew it was supposed to be wizened and those kinds of things irk me i can understand making mistakes while reading but if you're doing an audiobook and you fuck up go back and re-record it that re-record that section and that didn't happen so that annoy me a little bit but I did enjoy the story even though it is the typical it's a typical YA story it's just in a different setting this takes place in the Middle East there um, are some different factors that are in place with Shahrazad being in the position that she's in and the history of the things that happen, I'm trying to think of how to say this without telling information that would be spoiled, but the history of the things that are happening with these women who are being killed, these brides who are being killed um, every day. This is supposed to be like a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. I definitely got that, even without having read any other stories from A Thousand and One Nights. I have seen many interpretations of some of the stories in A Thousand and One Nights, and I got that definitely got it and that actually helps me enjoy it a little bit more. There are a lot of things that happen in the story that are apart and that's enough even if you didn't know going into this that this was going to be more than one story. The way that things happen and that they're so spread apart you know at some point all of these things are going to come together. All of these uh, elements are going to come together and that it doesn't happen in this story lets you would have let you know that there was more to the story actually once we got to the end of the story there was an element of it that I completely forgot about that was a little important <laughs> 
tell the story, but I, I, I forgot about it a little bit, and so I had to go back to try and figure out what happened, which would have been easier to do in print as opposed to as an audiobook because I couldn't remember what damn CD it was in. So uh, anyway, I, I did enjoy the story. I will read the next uh, one in the series, but again, not as an audiobook. I will read it in print. I think I would have enjoyed it much more if I had read it in print to begin with, but it wasn't available at the library and I needed an audio book for this week. I don't think I would have given it higher than three stars, which is what I gave it on Goodreads. And if you are interested in a book that's not necessarily a heavy book, there are some good things in the in the book. There are um, some thing, items of suspense that uh, take place. There are a couple of fight scenes or fight demonstrations that take place not as much hand-to-hand -hand combat as I would have liked to have, but I still enjoyed it. I really think that's all that I have to say. Oh, kick ass. I did not know that the author was a UNC Chapel Hill graduate. Um, both my parents went to UNC Chapel Hill and my sister. Go Heels. I uh, did not know that. It had absolutely nothing to do with the story. It feels so weird to be doing a review after having not done one for a while. Even though I think I uploaded a review a week or so ago, I recorded that about a month ago. And some of the books that I have been reading are hype, are backlisted and hyped books. So it feels a little weird to be doing a review right now. Uh, but yeah, that's all that I have to say about that. And I hope you all have a good week weekend whenever you see this video. Peace out.